journalism has fundamentally always been about two things. The first is finding out the truth, and the second is communicating that truth to people. And for most of journalism's history, there have only been a very limited number of ways that those things can be done. We find out the truth by speaking to people who were there, to sources, or we do that by witnessing events ourselves. But the problem with those two things, of course, is first of all, what if your source is unreliable? And secondly, what if we can't be in the place at that time? And I think there have been a couple of very important shifts in the last 10, 15 years, which have allowed us to go beyond that and get around some of those limitations. The first is data journalism, and the second is what we might call open source intelligence journalism, or, or visual analysis, visual investigations. So with data journalism, we're able to get around the first problem, the problem of unreliable sources. If you're simply relying on someone telling you what happened or didn't happen, you're always going to have a vulnerability to someone telling you something that isn't true. That might be intentional, it might be not. Whereas with data journalism, we're now able to establish the truth directly from source. Our data journalism has been carried out for many years now, many, many years, but particularly in the mainstream over the last 10, 15 years. But what we're able to do as data journalists has advanced considerably in that time. So we are no longer simply taking spreadsheets that have been published on the internet and saying, here's the area in the country with the highest unemployment or the lowest unemployment. We're now answering and we're now asking and answering much more meaningful questions. We're able to look at important trends in the delivery of healthcare. We're, we were able to chart our way through the pandemic. We're able to look at key social economic trends today, such as the collapse of home, home ownership for young people and whether society is even progressing forward at all. We're able to do this by drawing on larger, more detailed data sets than ever before and by using tools which make all of these things much easier. In addition, we're able to use visualization. In addition, we're able to use visual analysis of things like satellite imagery, photographs and videos to establish the truth of key events happening in the world around us. This can be everything from key this can be this can be everything from conflict as we as we've seen in Israel and Gaza to the ability of Russia to bust sanctions by sending ships through the ice. These tools are things that we never had sorry these tools are things that have only come into wide, widespread usage recently, but they're allowing us to perform journalism in a more robust way than we have in the past. In addition, we can then use these same tools, both of data and visualization, to communicate these facts, these information, this truth to people more effectively than ever before. We can make more engaging journalism. We can present things in charts in a way that they won't be questioned, whereas they would be if they were simply written in text. So these are the ways that I fundamentally think data journalism and visual journalism have changed the game and are allowing us to fulfill our role better than ever.